Hello and welcome to another episode of How To with Paul Henderson. Today's video, I will be installing the Jet Performance Mass Airflow Sensor, and I will be doing this on my 2019 Chevy Silverado All Star Edition Double Cab with the V8 5.3 liter Ecotec 3 engine, disabled dynamic fuel management. Now, with this Jet Performance Mass Airflow Sensor, it will replace the stock OEM sensor that you currently have in your vehicle. I purchased this from americantrucks.com, about $225. I will put a link to this product in the description of the video. This one has been designed to allow more airflow to get into the engine. Now my vehicle, I have the GM Chevrolet factory authorized cold air intake system on my truck. You can also use this Jet Performance Mass Airflow Sensor if you have the stock OEM setup. But like I said, I have the aftermarket one that's been approved by GM. And good thing about this, this is also CARB approved for California. CARB stands for California Air Resource Board. So I will not have to remove this when I get my vehicle smogged, which I haven't done yet, maybe at the fifth year, because this year my truck will be five years old. So inside the package you get the Jet Performance Mass Airflow Sensor. Be very careful. And this is it right here. You also get, let's dump it all out, a sticker if you want to put it on your window. And you also get the carb sticker. So this will be, this will need to be placed somewhere on the underside of the hood, on top of the air box, or you can install it on the door jam. That's where I have the carb sticker for my aftermarket air intake system. The tools you will need would be a T, what is it? A T20 for the two bolts that hold this onto the air intake system and a T20 for the battery. Now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna make sure that your doors are unlocked, everything is off, and you wanna make sure that your OnStar system has not been activated. The reason why I say that is, I mean, you're not gonna have it activated, but you never know. You just want to make sure that the light is off before you disconnect the battery because if the OnStar system is on, it will drain the battery in the OnStar system and you have to take that to the dealership to get it replaced. So first thing I'm going to do is going to go ahead and remove the battery terminal. So let's go ahead to this side of the truck. You're also going to want a towel to wrap around the battery terminal. You're going to take your 10 millimeter socket, just unloosen it a little bit. Take your towel because you don't want this to reconnect or touch the terminal and cause any sparks. That's all you have to do there. First thing you're going to do is pull back on this red tab. Then you're going to push in on the black tab behind the red one, pull it right off. I'm going to go ahead and slip that over here to get that out of the way. And you're going to take your T20 Torx bit, unscrew the two screws to hold the mass airflow sensor in place. And do not drop these because you might not be able to get them back. stock sensor out. Now I'm going to show you the difference of the two. So here is the, the new Jet Performance Mass Airflow Sensor and here's the stock one. They look pretty much identical. But this one has been especially tuned for your vehicle and if you have an aftermarket air intake system like I do, this should make a huge difference in torque, acceleration, and hopefully miles per gallon. So to install it, just uh, slip it back in. 
You're going to take those two screws. Be very careful not to drop them. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to do them hand tight. Go ahead and put this back on the post. You're going to reconnect this. Push back, push the tab back in. Now it's locked in place. And let's go reconnect the battery. So to reconnect your battery terminal, remove that paper. Everything's connected over there. You're going to slip this back on. Push it all the way down. Take your socket. You're going to make sure it's really snug, but not overly tight. That's it. Now we'll go ahead and put that sticker on the door frame. First thing you're going to want to do is to get some alcohol and wipe down the area where the sticker is going to be. You're going to go ahead and unpeel it. Make sure it's on there really good. And that's it. So in about a month, I'll come back and I'll do a review of the Jet Performance Mass Airflow Sensor. Hopefully with my cold air intake system and the still-in cold air scoop, I should see some gains in the performance and acceleration and hopefully miles per gallon. Well, that's it folks. That's a wrap up for another how-to video with Paul Henderson, and this one was the installation of the Jet Performance Mass Airflow Sensor that I installed on my truck. I hope you liked this video. If you did, tap the like button and the subscribe button. That really helps out my channel. And the bell icon, and you get notifications as new videos come out. If you want to make a small donation to my channel, tap the super thanks button underneath this video. Anything I get goes right back into my channel. Well, that's it. Have a great day, and uh, I guess that's it. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Hello, and welcome to another episode of How To With Paul Henderson. Today's episode, I will be installing the Jet Performance Mass Airflow Sensor, and I will be doing this on my 2019... <laughs> okay, one more time. Hello, and welcome to another episode of How To With Paul Henderson. Today's video is going to be me installing... Okay, test one, test two, test three. Hello and welcome to another episode of How To With Paul Henderson. Today's video, I will be installing the Jet Performance Mass, o <laughs> ah, mass Airflow Sensor. High Performance Mass Airflow Sensor. Test one, test two, test three. Hello and welcome to another episode of How To With Paul Henderson. Today's video, I will be installing the Jet Performance High Flow Mass Airflow Sensor. Hello and welcome to another episode of How To With Paul Henderson. Today's video, I will be stalling test one, test two, test three. And hopefully with this and my aftermarket cold air intake and the still in cold air scoop, my miles will go up in gallons. <laughs> I don't know if that, okay, let's do it one more time. <laughs>